YMT Mountain News Weekend Edition. Mark your calendars. Good evening, I'm Macy Marie. A new certificate program has Hazard Community and Technical College rising to new heights. Three classes for unmanned systems technology begin this spring on February 11th, worth three credit hours each. Instructors say four certificates will also be available to students. WYMT's Taylor Up Church has an inside look on what this remote drone program can offer you. If Santa brought you a drone this Christmas, a local college hopes to help you find a use for it. February 11th, we will begin our remote drone pilot certificate. Good things do not happen overnight. Things take, take a little bit of time. Bringing a certificate program for unmanned systems technology to Hazard Community and Technical College has taken more than a year. Everybody that knows me knows I'm extremely patient. I'm kidding, but, I, but I've been ready. Uh, so I'm really excited about it. But the wait was well worth it. A lot of people are seeing uh, the, the writing on the wall, just like you all have, and you were early adopter of this. Um, but they're seeing how this can help them in their jobs they currently have, or even how they can create a new job uh, for themselves. Three classes, four certificates. If your interests lie in becoming a pilot, being a first responder specialist, and unmanned systems technology, staff says registration is going on now. If you are out of state, you can still get our out of state tuition rates because they are online classes. Instructors say this opportunity is not only new to the mountains. This is going to be the first one in the state of Kentucky that uh, for certifications are offered. Making enrolling a way to expand horizons. In Perry County, Taylor Upchurch, WYMT Mountain News. For more information on those classes, go to our website, WYMT.com. Police say they arrested two men on Friday in Manchester when they found drugs inside their car. The driver, Jimmy Maxey, made an illegal left turn on US 421. And when police searched the car, they found meth, marijuana, and drug paraphernalia. Both the driver and passenger, Larry Maxey, were arrested. They were taken to the Clay County Detention Center and faced multiple drug-related charges. In Hazard, police found five people with drugs inside a hotel. Police say Friday night they got a call about possible drug use inside one of the rooms. Officers found several grams of meth and other drug paraphernalia. Police arrested John Feltner, Dewey Sarton, Mary Combs Sarton, Molly Johnson, and James Odin. The five were taken to the Kentucky River Regional Jail. I hope you snow lovers got a little bit of taste of snow this morning, but all that has gone now is rain has taken over here in eastern Kentucky. You can see that here on satellite and radar. The snow moved out of here. We got a little bit of break this afternoon, and then the rain really took over and has been raining for quite some time now. And as we scan the skies, mostly all of eastern Kentucky is in the rain, and that's really going to continue as we head into a really good portion of your Sunday. Now, temperatures, they're warming up a little bit, especially down to the Cumberland Valley as a warm fronts kind of making its way into the mountains those mid to upper 30s for the rest of us and really we're going to stay into those mid 30s as we head into the overnight hours so this rain is really going to stay as rain but we could see some spots up near I-64 maybe getting in on a little bit of a wintry mix. So right around 33, 34 degrees, so 80% chance of rain throughout the really the evening overnight hours and well into your Sunday as well. So we are going to see, though, temperatures start to drop on Sunday, making a wintry mix and snow into Monday morning. Good news is though we're not expecting a lot of accumulation or really any widespread issues, but we'll talk about that and more in my full forecast. We also are going to have high pressure set up, so sunshine finally returns. It's just going to be a couple of days. Macy. All right, thank you, Paige. While carrying rock salt, a semi crashed this morning on US 23 in Paintsville. The 18-wheeler carrying salt to Virginia jackknifed and went into the northbound lanes. The salt spilled out onto the highway, causing the road to close for several hours. No other cars were involved and no one was hurt. All lanes are now back open and the road is cleaned up. A doctor had his Kentucky license suspended after he was charged for having sex with a teen girl. The Lexington Herald-Leader reports Ashujashi had his license suspended this month. 
From court documents, we learn Joshi is accused of having a Kentucky teen send him explicit photos and videos. Joshi, Joshi is also accused of having sex with a teen. He started working in Missouri about two years ago, but had previously worked in Kentucky. Police arrested a man early Thursday morning for robbery. Officers say Douglas Meadows robbed the Apples, Wine and Spirits in Somerset and the Cash Express in Burnside. Detectives were able to recognize Meadows from surveillance video. Meadows was found hiding in the attic of his home in Pulaski County. He later confessed to both robberies. The family of a fallen Louisville Metro police officer is suing the city's sewer district and ex-employee charged in her death. Police say Roger Burdett crashed his semi-truck into the officer's cruiser during a traffic stop. Detective Deidre Mendo's family accuses Burdett of negligence in the crash. They also accuse the Metropolitan Sewer District of not properly employing and supervising. The pain, stress, and emotional strain that comes with addiction and drug abuse is not only limited to the user. It stretches through a family. It is easy to become lost or even frustrated when you're trying to get clean or help someone you love begin their recovery journey. That is why today more than a dozen resources gathered for a seminar at Frankfurt Church. Chelsea Jones has more. Substance abuse is affecting many people living here in central Kentucky. From what I know of people here in church, it's affecting their kids. 20 years ago, Debbie Graner says she became an alcoholic. And when we moved here from Pennsylvania, we came because of bourbon. She was depressed. Her drinking became worse and worse. 2011, I tried to commit suicide and started a fire in our rental house. I uh, am a convicted felon because of that. She decided to turn her life around, went through AA, and became a member of First Corinthian Baptist Church in Frankfurt at the request of her pastor. We come today. Graner organized a seminar to help others struggling with addiction. Not every program fits everybody, so don't stop looking if you want the help. Several organizations were present providing information on recovery from all types of addiction, including alcoholism, gambling, and opioids. Well, what we use is the generic Suboxone. It blocks the effect of anybody trying to take any heroin, so it reduces cravings, it, it lessens withdrawal. The event also connected people with opportunities to further their education. Our goal as therapists is to instill that hope and and then give them the tools so that they're successful in their pursuits, whatever that may be. In Frankfurt, Chelsea Jones, WKYT. In Lee County, Virginia, more than 300 employees at United States Penitentiary did not get a paycheck Friday due to the partial government shutdown. Workers there say morale is down after not getting their money. Many say this will take a toll on their families. The workers at the prison are among about 800,000 missing that first check as of Friday. President Trump is turning to social media in an effort to pressure Democrats into reaching a deal as the partial government shutdown reached a milestone. Kenneth Craig has the latest from New York. President Trump fired off a series of tweets Saturday as the partial government shutdown entered day 22, the longest in U.S. history. Mr. Trump tweeted, Democrats could solve the shutdown in 15 minutes. Tell them to get it done. Humanitarian crisis. Congress has adjourned until next week, and so far Democrats have denied the president's request for more than $5 billion to fund a border wall. We have a better idea about how uh, to secure our border, to do so with technology and infrastructure uh, that is smart. The president has threatened to declare border security a national emergency. But if we don't make a deal, I would say it would be uh, very surprising to me that I would not declare a national emergency and just fund it. A CBS News poll found that 47 percent of Americans say they blame President Trump for the partial government shutdown. 30 percent say they blame Democrats in Congress and just 3 percent blame Republicans. And the shutdown. Caught in the middle are some 800,000 federal workers who did not receive paychecks Friday. Food banks are helping out by distributing emergency groceries to those furloughed or working without pay. Not everyone makes the same amount of money 
and a lot of people live paycheck to paycheck. Mr. Trump says he will sign legislation from Congress that gives back pay to every federal worker affected by the shutdown. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. President Trump's administration is considering a plan that would divert emergency funds from the Army Corps of Engineers to pay for border security. And in Tennessee, the State Department of Labor and Workforce Development states more than 25,000 people are impacted by the shutdown in the state. A release from the department says depending on the length of the shutdown, some who work for the federal government for the federal government may qualify to collect unemployment. However, the release states federal workers required to remain on the job without pay are not eligible because they are able to work. And still to come on Mountain News Weekend Edition, we're learning more about a Wisconsin man facing homicide and kidnapping charges in connection with the disappearance of a 13-year-old who was found alive. And snow has moved out and the rain has moved back in. But will snow arrive once again? We'll break down that full forecast in just a few minutes.